Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here today. We are going to play with these fun splatter papers, do a little ephemera decorating and such, but I have a few things ahead of time that we're going to look at. So first of all, let's say hi and hugs. Hi and hugs to Michael, Tammy, Pam, and Sherry. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Um, okay, let's, let's move these over a little bit. These are a couple that we did yesterday. So fun. They're not quite dry. They're still drying. So, but I wanted to say thank you also. Thank you to Susan Hageden for sending me some new scissors. So sweet of you, Susan. I think I will, I will definitely use these until they're until they're dull <laughs> and that's going to take something because they're titanium but thank you susan for those um yeah you're naughty for the sending a sending a happy mail but i'm nevertheless very appreciative so that and then this is from wanda wanda is uh so she has a website, wandascrazycovers.com. And she's thinking about opening an Etsy. Um, but anyway, she contacted me before I stopped doing Etsy shares. So let me just show you what she sent. She sent this beautiful blue cover all uh, slow stitched and embroidered on and it's got buttons and everything and then then just a beautiful white inside you can see some of the stitching super fun so thank you so much for that Wanda she also sent um, this beautiful stitched uh, belly band so isn't that gorgeous look at that on a page yeah so pretty so um i'm gonna actually set this with this because i would want to use that in the same in the same book although there's two wait a second there's this one too isn't that pretty look at the look at the little flower she stitched over the buttons isn't that pretty so I guess I'll put that with that too and decide when I use it on a journal. And then this, let's see what this is. This Oh, this is what oh it's a pot it's the pocket for the for the cover. Look at that. That's what that is. So look, you can put put a little pocket in there. I'm I'm excited about this because I know I've got some blue like winter journal um papers from Stamperia. So anyway, right now she has the website wanda's wanda crazy covers.com. Let me just show you up and you can take a screenshot if you want. There you go. I'll put it down below too. So there you go. That catches me up with that. And um, I wanted to show you too some of the stuff I've gotten done in the last few days. So you know, might remember we collaged these covers. Was that on Scrappy Saturday maybe? They've got Amazon papers in the middle. So I have this fall one. I have a blue one. I stitched around this one and this one. And I put corners on them. So those three covers ready to rock and roll. That's exciting. And then um, I had some time yesterday. And you know those vintage snips? Um, the kit vintage snips from Dreams, etc.? dot com well i made some i just finished off some um journal cards 
with the snips. They just, they're so fun because they're just boom, 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 and you've got your pieces done. So, yeah, so I had a little fun playing with those the other day in between things. And then I have these two big journal cards. And so they were, um, they were collaged pieces that I done. These are a couple of big tags that, um, yeah. And then this is, um, this is a little sack. I could either put that in the signature or I could use it for a cover for its own little journal too. And then this was one of the, um, it was a flip from Rachel's uh, Roxy Creations, um, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And so I put a little piece of fabric and one of the snips on there. So yeah, I just, I just wanted to have a play with those. And I wanted to pare down my um, to-do box a bit. And so that was a, a quick way to do it. So, okay, everything's shared. Now, to-do box is to, to my left here. And we are going to play with all of this because I, I will not lie. I've been a little hoardy with it. I, I don't, it's so pretty. I have a hard time using it. <laughs> so, um, I did, I did have these digitals that I made the digitals. Um, I have a kit one and a kit two. And, uh, let me grab that. Um, we're going to do something with these two first. Sorry. Got to I've got my painting shirt still on same day as when I, when I did the splatter paint yesterday. Let's just tear off the edges of these. I think I decided what I'm going to do with a couple of these is make some of those sacks that Rachel did in Roxy's weekly challenge. Cause I thought that would be fun for a couple of these. Oops. Well, that's okay will work around it. So, so yeah, so we'll just have, oh gosh, I forgot to look at what time it was. Did I? Nope. Nope. I'm okay. Okay. I did. I just didn't remember doing it. That's scary, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, these are on kind of on my mind because I've got do I have some of them in there? No, I think I might have. I think I might have gone ahead and finished most of those. Okay. Except the Christmas ones. I didn't have what I wanted for the Christmas ones. Okay. So we're going to pop up the bottom like that. And then one there and then just roll that and one there scissors yes um yeah i want to i want to take those scissors from susan out of the packaging and use those but the packaging is formidable <laughs> so i'm gonna wait till i'm off camera to do that okay um there. Okay. So we'll just make a little sack out of this one. Let's see. What am I doing? Nope. I'm going this way. And on the other side of the line. And this way. And on the sack side of the line, not the flap. So that it will fold right. Yep. Good, good. Okay. Then we'll unflap this. So this is a little repeat on how to make these wonderful sacks. But got a couple of pieces that we can use there that are good little um, scraps. I'm just going to go there and then just do a slight, slight curve in.
There we go. Okay. Probably going to need some glue pages, aren't I? Always, always need the glue pages. I took some time yesterday and refilled my... Um, I refilled my glues. So I'm happy to have that done. I guess I could have just used the art glitter. Yep, she's full up, so she should be working well, hopefully. Hopefully if she doesn't have a goober at the top. Okay, so then we do this. So in yesterday's video, when I made these, I did link my digital kits too, just in case you don't have the, the means to be making some of these on your own. And maybe that will be helpful. Okay, so I'm going to go. That's more interesting. So I'm going to glue right on the edge of this. And right on the edge of here. Okay. And here. Okay. And then when that dries, oh goodness, Gail. Gosh. I got too got too rambunctious there. Just totally ripped the thing okay settle down gentle <laughs> okay anyway i'm gonna clip the edges and then we'll do um a jaggedy scissors on the top okay but since i got crazy i need a little a little piece of tape right there. Uh, do I have? I want some. Oh yeah, there's one. Let's see. Oops. Everything can be fixed, right? At least I got to hope so, because <laughs> heaven knows I make all sorts of boo-boos. Okay. A little piece of tape there. I think I'm going to put one on the inside, too. Just, just help a little bit. Okay. we go snip that off a little bit okay <laughs> jeez okay 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 let's do this one too I think this will be kind of cool I I have a lot of fall journals that I want to do and so I think these will be great for that so This one with the coloring is actually going to look like a sack, isn't it? Okay. Yep. All right. And then this side, I'm going to just hold that crease a little bit better so you can see where I'm cutting down the seam and a little bit of a Okay. 
Okay. Quick like bunnies, we got this done. better so we're gonna go up this side and up this edge okay so those can dry while we're doing some other things but cute I love those okie dokie gonna do that and then we'll cut the tops when we when we get there all right so I can set those digitals maybe behind me here and let's see I was thinking some of these more plain tags that I have um, here's a journal card that's rather rather plain that that might be ooh and then I just had another idea oh the to-do box it just gives all kinds of ideas I have all these postcard backs I'm thinking about collaging with them yep that's what I think we'll do but let's do a couple pieces like this just to start off with and so um Oh my gosh, look at that. This has like a leaf in it. Oh, I love that. Okay, well. Let's see where about. I'm going to try that there. Oh, it's so hard for me to use these originals. <laughs> but that's really pretty. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's get our ink out. I re-inked and got a new ink top. I mean, I was just I was just getting things situated yesterday. Let's give this a little bit of an edge. So I got a super cute picture my daughter sent me of Addie and her boyfriend at the rodeo last, or at the carnival last night. There's a carnival that's associated with the ro with the rodeo. So that was so cute. Hang on just one second. I know it seems like weeks that I've had this cold. It seems like it to me too. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Honestly, the the background of this is so pretty. Can you, let me get it up here so you can see it. See with those little dots and the leaf and everything. This was a digital that I splattered over. I don't know that I can cover that up, so I think I'm just going to put that on this tag and maybe just leave as is. Oh boy, this is cute. I'm thinking about could I put a little something right there? A little label or word or something. That 
looks kind of cool there. I'm going to do that. Then it has a little something, but yeah. I guess this is a good case for, it doesn't always have to be super layered up or super complicated. I mean, I think this will just be cute in a, in a pocket, you know? I have these papers right behind me at my desk. But like I say, I just, I'm just a little hoardy with them. I want to, oh, I love that. Okay. Well, there's one piece done. <laughs> okay, this one I won't have as much trouble with, I don't think. What's this? Oh my gosh. That is just the right size. That's going to go on there. I think I'll use art glitter glue so it doesn't curl as much. And then I'm thinking some mushrooms. A bird would work too, but I'm thinking mushrooms. So where do I have that this way? Okay, let's see what we have mushroom-wise. Might work there. Flowers, butterflies, mushrooms. Ooh. I kind of like that. That was easy. <laughs> I think I might want a word on it too. That might not be as easy. Let's get some of the white off of there. So, I'm anticipating I'm going to go to the rodeo this afternoon. I mentioned it yesterday that I'm going to be working for the YWCA there, but I'll tell you, I'm really, really dreading the parking. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Let's see. Um... No, I have any words. Uh, I'm just trying to think, guys, if I have anything autumn-y. I probably do, but my fall, I have a whole tub of fall stuff, and it's kind of, you know, put away. Let's see what's in here. This is Pink Monarch Prince. That's nice. Looking more for the size than anything. Okay, cool. Just a little, little journal card. That'll work. <clears throat> and then my next idea, my next thing I want to try with these papers. Oops. Okay. One of these. Okay. There's a little journal card. All right, so what I'm thinking is let's do this idea, which is I'm gonna take these, especially the ones that are blank, 
and to put them together and we're going to collage them on this side. I don't know where these postcards came from. I've had them in my stash forever. If I had to guess, I would say Tsunami Rose, but I don't know for sure. So, let's see, we're gonna get nine of them done all at once. Okay. And then these go back and live in the to-do box. Okay. Glue stick and scraps at the ready. That's a cool scrap. I want to use that. That's a cool scrap. Look at that one. Um, yeah, so we just need... Kind of going with the fallish colors. Just start putting things down. Ooh, with that. Yeah, that's not really folly. That one is. I'm looking for long, skinny scrap. There's one. That's a good one. I think that's double. It is double. So if I can get it apart, that'd be good. Yeah. Okay, I want to go down the seam with that is what I'm thinking. That's why I was looking for a long skinny one. or up the seam, whichever. Okay. That's good. What else we got? What else like that we got? There's a piece of music, that'll work. Just kind of get these um, attached together so that they're not slip sliding on me. Got to leave enough room to cut them apart, though. Okay. Mm. I think that's a good one. This was wrapping paper that I used the back and splattered. And let's just go kind of like this. Okay, now we just have to attach this one and we're good. Um, Be nice. So, all that to say, these are really fun for an accent on on a piece of ephemera, or they're super fun to collage with too. Let's see, oh, that's nice. I'm, I think I'll go that way so I have a little more on the other page. Fun to have a good play, though, while I'm dreading going to the <laughs> rodeo. It always seems like a good idea for me to volunteer for things at the time. <laughs> and when it comes, it's like, oh, why did I say I'd do that? <laughs> oh...
Why not? Don't think too much, Gail. Just do it. Need my that's a piece of cardstock, it's a little thicker. What else do we have? Ooh, that's a fun one. Ooh, that's a fun one. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's put that right there. Yeah, like I say, I've been hoarding these for a long time, so it's real good to be using them. I guess that just says how much I love them because, you know, you usually don't hoard stuff that you're not crazy about. This is a good one. I'm going to go across that upper. Go right here. piece but it's kind of ripped so I need to use it like somewhere nope it's not meant to be that one oh that's a nice one let's go up the side with that So, yeah, I got to do the rodeo tonight, but then, so I'm filming this on Friday, on a Friday, um, but we don't have anything on for this weekend, so I'm excited about that too, just, what the heck? Oh, I got two postcards. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? That's confusing me. Okay. This is a nice, like, corner piece. Hmm. Not fitting right now. How about this one? I could go down there with this one. Ooh, this is like rag paper type of paper. It's eating up my... It's going ahead and eating my little... Ooh, stick. Have some on order. Might have waited too long to order. I do have some backups that I could use in the meantime, I guess. That's a fun one. What else is under here? That's a good one. I'm going to put that one right there. all gooberty jubered up. It's kind of neat though. Gives a little texture. I'm going to put that on there. got some little bits here and there that need some covering up but 
Ooh, that's a pretty one. Ooh, how about we go right there? Might need to cover a little bit up there, but. <clears throat> I'm just using them with abandon. You know, honestly, what good does it do for them to sit in their little pouch behind me? None. It does no good. Ooh, that was just perfect right there. That'd be perfect right there. Getting down to it here. Okay. Nope. Um, ooh, that's a fun little strip of a piece. I'm going to go across there with that. Oh, this is so fun. That could go there. I want something up in this corner first, though. we have what do we have this is a great piece little piece I could turn that off there oops I meant to go this way work? Yeah, I think so. That'll fit right there. Well, I've convinced my husband, or he's convinced himself, I'm not sure which. He's now mowing the yard in two days, like the front one day and the back the next day. I want him to hire a service, but he's not quite there yet. Let's put that right there. Um, so he did the front yesterday, just finished doing the back, and I heard him get in his chair ready to have himself a little afternoon nap <laughs> so that's good oh okay i'm gonna need something there that bugs me right there but what do you what do we have what do we have like that too much um, ooh, this is a great piece. I'm going to put that there and then we'll just cover up that little spot. I will say it is fun to have the scraps as well as the big pieces. I have a hard time cutting into the big pieces. Or tearing. Okay, but I really like that. All right. Be a little something right there. That'll work. A little piece of Edith Holden page. Let's put that right there. Okay, cool. Um, now we have this corner up here. It needs a corner piece.
So hopefully this is giving you some oopsie. That didn't work. Let's try it this way. Um, give you some ideas of also of what you can do with these. I'm going to put that right there. Just kind of covering up where there's not a lot of splatters. Let's go right about there. Ooh, I want something under there though. This has a bit of, <laughs> of modeling paste on it. Ooh, there's another idea. Put some modeling paste on this. That'd be fun too, wouldn't it? Okay, so I got a couple of spots where we need something. Like that one. Okay, and then in this area. I don't know that I want. I don't mind that. We'll just do it. I'm scared that's going to be on a seam. Okay, I'm just going to run a little glue on this guy. Because he's... I like it that he's bent like that, but... Now, I feel like I could use something here, I could use something here, I could use something there. <clears throat> Let's see what we have here. I am going to try and make this a little straight. And just go right down there. Now my fear is that I, I'm not going to want like a bird or a mushroom or something because I'm going to like the background so much. Oh, oh well. Gosh, I've got little bits of paper. This right here, I'm not super happy with right there. I'm going to put that there. I did like the digital splatter too. I'll have to do some more of that. Okay. Where to with that? Maybe just like that. Okay, I'd like a little, little something down here. I like that. Good. And we're done. We can cut them. We'll do the surprise reveal, okay? Okay, there it is. And then we'll cut these out. And we'll see what we got once we get them cut out. gonna have a little little to get off the side there that's me just not lining them up perfectly but you know the chances of that are slim to none okay so there's there's one postcard I'll probably set these under a pile of books to straighten them out too because they're gonna want to warp We can see if we want to do a little decorating first. 
Gonna need a little distress ink on the back sides, I think, around the edges. That just finishes them off for me. Okay. This one had rounded corners. Oh, I'm excited to see what they look like. <laughs> okay. Almost there. Almost, almost. I have nothing exciting to talk to you about really today other than we did finish our Netflix series quarterback. I loved it. I loved it. Made me excited for football season. You know me. I'm just a little bit of a sports sports nut. I love them. I think I make the perfect wife really. <laughs> I like to watch sports on weekends. What can I say? It's how I grew up. My dad always had whatever sport. Baseball this time of year. Football, basketball. And it's fun because now all those guys that are, you know, either going in the Hall of Fame or, you know, coming back for some honor at games and stuff. I know them all because I watched with my dad all those years. This one. Okay. Rid of all the little cutoffs. Okay, I better check my time too, huh? Okay, we're doing okay. Got about 10 minutes. All right, should we see what they look like? Okay, here we go. Oh boy. These are fun. Look at that one. That's fun. <laughs> then they just end up with their own kind of personality, don't they? Love it. Ooh, this one's cool. I love that splatter, that black splatter right there. Yes, look where that ended up. That was so good. Okay, well, let's think about doing some decorating for the last little bit. Okay, well, I want my mushrooms again. And, and birds. Actually, bunnies might be nice too. And we'll think about flowers or butterflies or whatever, but I don't know why this one was saying bunny to me. Oh, that is so cute. But not quite the right size. we got for bunnies in here and those are too big okay well maybe that one wasn't meant for a bunny maybe that one was meant for a mushroom or a bird of some sort oh yeah oh yeah there it is okay We'll worry about those later. Okay. I do love owls too. They're very fun to put 
put on things. And they go great with fall because they're pretty much fall colors, aren't they? I'm just going to set him like that. Maybe we don't need anything more than that. Let me just could use a little something right there. I was thinking washi tape, but why not go with a little a little snippet of something on here? Oh, here's something. like that. Just because we're done collaging doesn't mean we need to be done collaging. <laughs> oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. Okay, I'm going to snip the corners. I blame Rachel for that. I do love how she does that. Okay. And... And then on this side, it could definitely use a little because, of course, I fussy cut out these um, postcards and there's spots where there's a little white showing. This will just hide that and it'll look all sorts of vintage and fun. Oh my gosh, I love that one. His tail sticking up. There you go, little dude. I have to nip your tail feather just a skosh. There we go. Oh, yay. I love that. Okay. Well, we're having some fun now, huh? Okay. I was looking at the other one that I thought was super pretty was this one. Just kind of cool how this part is just down that one side. I wonder if this one... My bunnies are either giant or really small, so I have a little trouble fitting them on. This guy is nice fall colors. Hmm. And then the label there, what do you think? Okay, so that's an option. I'm gonna see what the mushrooms might, what might come to mind for mushrooms here. Mm, I think I like that. And then to put something across there. Oops, don't put the bird in the mushroom. Mess up the filing system. I think I'm going to do that. And, oh, I wonder, let's look at this. Just one second. Let me get this guy on there. Oh. Those aren't going to work. Let's do cities. Didn't quite complete this one, apparently. Probably got distracted. Okay. Well, next time we ha I film a video, I'll have to tell you about the rodeo. If I found a parking space. <laughs> And whatever else goes on there. Okay, I do like that, but let's see. Um, where are you? 
land. Sorry, guys. Huh, where is my lens? Altered Arts. can't find her. Oh, I wonder if she's upstairs because I'm doing some fussy cutting. I don't know. But I want her. Oh, here she is. She was right in front of my face. Cheesy peasy. So what I want is an up and down word, I'm thinking. Um... And probably in kind of a there it is. Okay. See why I absolutely needed her? <laughs> okay. Betcha we're at time. But at least we got a couple of them done. Let's see. Yep, just about. Oh, time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? this one too well now we know this is a fun thing to do with the splatter paper to do the postcards again I think this is these were from Tsunami Rose I'm almost positive okay well let's see what we have done we only got four pieces decorated but i have what do i have another seven here to be to be decorated so we have this we have this we have this and we have this so thanks everybody so much for crafting with me today. I hope you have a grateful day. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.